unemployment and underemployment. As an expatriate, I want to initiate a change to have a better outcome as for my country, which is the Philippines. Unemployment and underemployment are the Philippines' most important problems and the key indicators of the weaknesses of the economy. So, before pa magkaroon ng pandemic, is mataas na talaga yung bilang ng unemployment and underemployment sa bansa natin. Mas, mas lumala nga yun nung nagkaroon ng pandemic. So, ano nga ba yung mga rason kung bakit tumaas tayo sa unemployment and underemployment? Unemployment in the Philippines is the attributed to reason including overpopulation, oversupply of labor force in certain industries, and ability to take on available jobs. Overpopulation. Philippines has a high population growth rate, an average of 1.7% for the past few years, consistently higher than the world population growth rate at uh, an average of 1.2%. So, mataas yung bilang ng country natin sa unemployment and underemployment. Dahil nga sa mahirap nga maghanap ng trabaho because of wala nang available jobs. So even though nakapag-graduate ka ng any courses, four years courses, or you have degree, or even though na skills kan tao, is mahirapan ka pa rin maghanap ng trabaho dahil nga sa kakulangan ng mga available jobs or uh, oversupply na nga sila. So they try to find in mga, sa mga uh, part-time jobs. Oversupply of labor force and ability to take on available job structure and employment. So, undergraduate are still taking up college courses that are popular but were previously high in demand. So, for example, nga dyan yung mga company na naghahanap ng mga trabaho, uh, mga trabahador sa specific works is yun yung mga pinipili talaga ng students para... Uh, baka hanap na agad sila ng trabaho. But unfortunately, uh, kapag naman na na ng uh, company yung demand na kailangan nila sa, ng workers is uh, yung mga fresh graduates of the specific works is they left as unemployed. So they tried to survive to find another jobs that not related to their skills. So namimiss much na yung skills nila. And uh, dahihirapan sila uh, sa mga trabaho pinasok nila. The solution for unemployment is, of course, to create a new jobs. The number of jobs that needed to be created depend on the employment rate and the number of people entering the labor force in search of work. So, yun nga yung pinaka-basic na paraan para maka uh, bumaba yung bilang ng unemployment sa bansa natin. So, next is yung sustain. Uh, economic growth. Having sustained economic growth is another way for the government to address the, pro so the problem of the unemployment. So, it's either uh, economy related yun or environmental related is uh, kahit ano pa din doon is makakatulong yun para mabawasan yung mga unemployment sa bansa natin. So, basically kasi so government natin, syempre, gusto rin nilang mag-benefits doon sa gagawin nila para mabawasan yung uh, unemployment. And then, para mas mapaganda din yung economy natin. So, they, uh, they, so they try to do projects like uh, innovation regarding economy and uh, environment. So, para matulungan nga yung unemployment and mas mapaganda yung economy natin for the tourists, syempre. And, and additional to that is yung mga high qualification na needed ng mga company. So, the solution for that is they should lower the, the standard and qualification that needed for the specific works. So, for example, sa mga madadali yung works or mga hindi naman kailangan ng sobrang taas na knowledge or standards or dapat ba nakagraduate ka ng ganitong course? Dapat ba ganito ka? So, for example, sa jobs na yun is yung mga katulong yung mga waitress o yung janitor. So they need uh, they need uh, they don't need uh, they don't need they don't need a high standard or they don't need a high knowledge about that. So ang kailangan lang naman nila is yung skills and then yung mga training na kailangan para mas maging maayos yung trabaho nila. That's all. Thank you.
And additional to that is yung mga high qualification na needed ng mga company. So, the solution for that is they should lower the the standard and qualification that needed for the specific works. So, for example, sa mga madadali yung works or mga hindi naman kailangan ng sobrang taas na knowledge or standards or dapat ba nakagraduate ka ng ganitong course? Dapat ba ganito ka? So, for example, sa jobs na yun is yung mga katulong, yung mga waitress, o yung janitor. So, they need uh, they need uh, they don't need a uh, they don't need they don't need a high standard or they don't need a high knowledge about that. So, ang kailangan lang naman nila is yung skills and then yung mga training na kailangan para mas maging maayos yung trabaho nila. That's all. Thank you.